In this video, we're going to look at the pictorial representation of Boolean relationships, known as Venn diagrams. These are useful not only as a form of simplification, but also as direct practice in logical thinking. The Venn diagram illustrates algebra applied to classes. If the rect area within the rectangle represents the universe class, then it is designated by 1. The area outside the rectangle is not a member of this universe class and is called null class, designated by 0. The diagram represents A or not A, and in this case the shaded area represents A, and as you can see outside the circle represented by diagonal lines is not A. In this representation of A and B, you will notice we are looking for the expression F equals A not B, shaded here in the horizontal lines in A. This can be compared to the B representation here as F equals not A and B, shaded in by the vertical lines in the B circle. Of F equals not A and not B, you will see here that all of the circles are empty and is the outside, the universe of the rectangle, that is shaded in in diagonal lines. Here we're looking at the expression A not Z or not A, B and C. So what we do is we break this down into two Venn diagrams. Firstly for the first step, which is F, equals a not c. So let's look how we fill this in. So obviously with this particular Venn diagram that we're using here, we know that we want a but not anything to do with the c. So we can do this uh, by looking at now we look at the second part of the equation, which is f equals not a, b, and c. And as you can see from here, we need to really think about that we don't want a, and we want the junction between b and c, which is this section just here. Moving on to the final Venn diagram of the expression, we now merge the two original ones together so that we have A not C and not A, B and C. And there's the final Venn diagram of F equals A not C or not A, B and C. Note that primary terms are shaded in horizontal, vertical or diagonal directions. If expressions are connected by the, uh, the operator AND, the crossed hatched area is the area of interest. If expressions are connected by the OR, operator it is the total shaded and crosshatch area that is the area of interest.